Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. A very hot and toasty Darlene. I don't know why the air conditioner is not doing as well as it did yesterday. Yesterday it kind of cooled me off a little bit, but I looked and it's saying only 82. It should not be that hot in here. But I did use the stove, not the oven, just the stove top. Cooked pasta for my mother and I don't know, just made me hot. Hopefully I will have more ACs in the windows very soon. I'm almost like willing to go out just so I can sit in my air-conditioned car. <laughs> Here's what I have for you today. I have gotten several requests to see a Fluffernutter sandwich. I've also had two or maybe three requests for me to explain what fluff is. Since making a fluff and nutter sandwich takes all of maybe 15 seconds, I thought I'm going to make this a combination video. It's going to be showing you the products, and I'm going to learn about the products as we do that. And then I will actually make the sandwich. And I'm going to wrap it up and give it to my mother. She can eat it tonight, or she can eat it tomorrow, she can eat it whenever. I know she will eat it. So, first of all, a fluff or nutter sandwich is made with fluff marshmallow and peanut butter. I have no idea if that's just something in the U.S. I am assuming it is at least across the U.S. because even in the U.S. certain areas have food that others have never heard of. So you can always leave a comment and let me know if your country has fluff and other sandwiches or if they even have fluff marshmallow and peanut butter. I'd like to believe everybody has peanut butter, but who knows? I don't know. So let's start with the bread. Now, I just looked back because I was almost a little bit shocked, but not really. I bought this bread two days ago. Today is... What is today? Thursday. Tuesday. I went on a tag-along. Is that right? Yes, looking back at my videos, I see that it was two days ago that I took you guys to Walmart with me, and I bought my mother a loaf of bread. I'm going to untie it here. The loaf is a sandwich loaf, and it's a... a quite a long one. Go see the video, you'll see the bread. But I'm going to show you how much my mother has eaten in two days. Two days. But she also had about six slices left of an Italian, you know, sliced Italian bread. So she ate those slices and this is all that's left of the bread that I bought two days ago. Now this was filled to about here. So I would say you know, close to half the bread gone. She eats a lot of bread. So, I was thinking there's absolutely nothing I can tell you about white bread, but I'm going to guess and assume that maybe not everybody has what is considered sandwich bread. All I know is around here, the only thing that's probably different between this bread and other white bread is the, the shape of it. It is square as opposed to like a rounded top. And I know just different brands right here in Sanford have different textures, so there's nothing especially special about it. But you can see the bread. Oh, and this one has holes in it. <gasps> Do you guys remember? Okay, I'm sure this is U.S. only. Wonder Bread? Was it Wonder that had a campaign years ago? I was a child. That if you found a hole in their bread, you got something? I can't remember what it was. Because that was one of their things. That there was not going to be any holes in their bread. I like the holes place to stick your finger when you're eating your sandwich. <laughs> okay, so we need two slices of bread, and I'm using her sandwich bread. Now let's look at the peanut butter, and I'm going to look at that because I have never purchased this brand. I don't know if I'm capable of giving a taste review because, you know, people are like, is it good? We all have different likes and dislikes. I remember one time I did a coupon for these uh, Sara Lee cakes or whatever, and somebody, they were like, um, they were like a chocolate cake, and there was a coupon for them, and somebody said, those are terrible, they're terrible, and I said, oh, what's, what's wrong with them? And she said, they're so dry. And I was like, I love dry cakes. It's like a devil dog. I love devil dogs. Don't know if you know what devil dogs are. Long chocolate cakes with cream in the middle. And they're very dry. You take a bite and you instantly need ice cold milk. But, you know, so somebody said they were terrible. And their idea of terrible was my idea of lovely. I'm going to get a spoon. A spoon for the peanut butter. A duck a knife for the marshmallow. Oh, I forgot to read. I took the cover off here. Okay, first of all, this is called All Good Peanut Butter. And this was cheaper than the Walmart brand, which is why I bought it. 
It was 182 for this. I need reading glasses. Don't know. Will these be better? Possible. Nope. Going to get my craft glasses. I hope when I go to Dollar Tree for flowers, I can remember to get a couple more pairs of the stronger eyeglasses because I need more of those. Ooh, okay. This is serving size, two tablespoons, calories, 180. Peanut butter is very high in calories, and that's really why I would like to get off peanuts. So high in calories, but fat calories are 140. Total fat, 15 grams. Two and a half grams of that is saturated, zero trans fat, 4.5 polyunsaturated fat, zero cholesterol, 125 sodium, potassium, 190, total carbs, eight, high in carbs, too. I got to get off those peanuts. Fiber, two, sugars, three, protein, seven grams. I got creamy. My mother prefers creamy. I prefer chunky if I were to eat peanut butter, but I, I really don't, I haven't eaten peanut butter regularly in a long time because it was making me sick but for some reason the peanuts don't i don't get it i just don't get it all right this is what we have inside very creamy smells like peanut butter mm, smells good doesn't smell like skunk or horse manure smell it go ahead try <sighs> good job <laughs> It is the texture of peanut butter. That's a big bite. Hey! Mm. That's the kind of peanut butter that immediately sticks to the roof of your mouth. I like that. I like that quality of peanut butter. Whoa! Hey! It's not bad. I like it. It's very thick and mwam, 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 that kind. So, if you like mwam, mwam, mwam kind of peanut butter, you'll like this crap. <laughs> and the ingredients were, I'm just curious, roasted peanuts, sugar, then 2% or less of a bunch of different other things that are hard to pronounce, fully hydrogenated oils, soybean rapeseed, is it rapeseed or rapeseed? I don't know. I don't like the sound of rapeseed. 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 Some monoglyceride, monoglycerides, molasses, honey. Oh, there's molasses and honey in this one. My mother loves molasses, and can you believe that I wanted to show you guys a sandwich spread that I grew up on, which is peanut butter mixed with molasses? And they spoiled the excitement for me now by including it right here in this peanut butter out of Louisville, Kentucky. Moving right along to the marshmallow fluff. And that's exactly what's in here. It's marshmallow fluff. It's creamy marshmallow. Two tablespoons has 40 calories, zero fat of any kind, five milligrams of sodium, very low, 10 carbs, it's a lot, six sugars, zero protein, Let's see the ingredients. And there's a recipe for never fail fudge. I, I never cared for marshmallow based fudges. Is that a word? Fudges? Fudge. Never cared for marshmallow based fudge. I like fudge that gets hard and sugary. Like when you bite it, it's like a block of sugar. All right, I haven't had fudge in ages either. What do we got? What do we got? Where's the ingredients? It says it contains five cups of marshmallows. So if you ever need a recipe, round it up or down to equal five cups because this stuff is like next to impossible to measure. <laughs> so you know you've got five cups in here. Is there such a thing as an ingredient? Ingredients. Corn syrup, sugar, dried egg white, vanillin, vanillin, that's got to be in the vanilla family. Then it just says contains egg because of the egg white. Alrighty. Processed in a nut-free facility. Doesn't matter for us because we are mixing it with a nut product. Going to open the tub. Love to keep these tubs. I use these for storage for all kinds of things. And it's always covered with some wrap on the top. The peanut butter was too, but I had pulled the top off. And I'm going to take this off. And this is a fun part to lick. I'm not going to lick it. And we have marshmallow fluff. It's a marshmallow cream. I see some little air bubbles have formed. And this is what this, oh, that's my peanut butter spoon. I wanted a knife for this. 
this is what you got. It's just stretchy marshmallow. And if you were to like whip it, this would probably go down to here. I mean, if you take the air out of it. But it's very sweet. And it's almost like um, if, you, if your country has white marshmallows that people stick a stick in and roast over a fire, that kind of marshmallow, if you get it roasted and in the inside melts, that's kind of like what the inside is like. Kind of, but different. I have actually discovered, and I don't know how I discovered this, but I discovered it all by myself. I'm sure other people have done it, but I made it up in my own head that I must have been very bored one day and I had a marshmallow and I just squished it, squished it, squished it in my fingers until all of a sudden, after a little bit, it was like very stretchy, just like this stuff. So maybe I'll do that on camera for you one day. Do you want to see me squish a marshmallow? Please say yes, because I can't think of anything more ridiculous that I could possibly do on camera. So I'll be happy to squish a marshmallow for you. <laughs> And that comes very sticky, but it's still a different texture than this. This is, um, I don't know, it's just different. One thing you can do with this, as many things other than a sandwich, you can um, put some and add just a, like a couple drops of water or even a little couple drops of milk and you stir that and it makes a really nice marshmallow sauce for on top of ice cream sundaes. And just all kinds of things. So we're going to go though and make a sandwich. Let's go over to the counter. Okay? Okay. Okay, we are going to start with the holy bread. And I'm going to put the peanut butter on one slice. There's nothing magical about this sandwich. You know, I always liked the three. You know how peanut butter and jelly is popular, and then peanut butter and marshmallow is popular? Well, I always liked peanut butter, marshmallow, and jelly. So there's the peanut butter. And now my knife has almost completely sunk into the marshmallow, so that makes for a messy knife. And I'm going to put a nice helping of marshmallow on this. I will not be doing a taste test. I'm going to be giving this to my mother. Wrapping it up for her. She can have it maybe tonight for a snack. I won't be tasting all the things I make if they're sweet things because I don't want to ever take a chance of starting a triggering cravings. Now, I'm going to cut. And for some odd reason, my mother likes sandwiches cut diagonally, so that is the way I'm going to cut it. And I'll show you... This is what a fluffernutta sandwich looks like. And I will tell you, it is good. And especially with a nice glass of ice cold whole milk. Only whole. Whole is the best. As I said, nothing exciting here, but for those of you who wanted to see a fluffernutta sandwich, you have now seen one. I wish I could feed it to you, but I can't. You know, it's funny, when I was putting it in this bag, you know, I'm 55. When I was a kid, I don't know if baggies existed. I think they came around probably when I was young, a young child. But even if they existed, they, they didn't exist in my house because that would have been like a convenience expense that we would have never spent on. We always wrapped sandwiches in wax paper. And you had to either tape it closed or we had the rubber band. And when I would eat my sandwich at school, my lunchbox, I had to make sure I put the rubber band back in the lunchbox so I could have it for the next day for the next sandwich. So leave a comment and let me know if you remember having sandwiches wrapped in wax paper. I mean, it wasn't even saran wrap, which clung. It was just wax paper that didn't cling at all. I wrapped many of my father's sandwiches in wax paper. That is it for now. I'm going to go show my mother that she will have this in her little refrigerator. And if you guys want me to show you other things just leave a comment I like these little segments because they're very easy and quick for me to do and it's fun for me I, I learn I get to learn I I know what marshmallows made out of now so that's it for now I will be back with more soon bye